right now, I am so angry that I can't believe it. I mean, I'm just so freaking angry right now. So you know you, that I've had a situation with a squatter moving onto the property. Hello, Papa. Next door. Well, they haven't been able to get off. He, he's been asked multiple times to leave, and he just won't leave. Uh, there was no deal with him, you know, and the, the landowner to stay there. There was, he's basically trespassing. So, today, uh, a bunch of trucks pulled up. And, uh, well, they were helping him load his truck up. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, he can't walk anymore. So, they called an the ambulance. And apparently, I guess, well, they carted him off in a stretcher. Um, but I saw him up there walking around just fine. Um, but there, there, that doesn't negate the fact that he is definitely a very sick man. Um, I don't know if it's drugs or alcohol or whatever, but, um, he's not well and he, I'm just so mad right now. There's so many thoughts going through my mind. So they carted him off. So I, I called the land broker and, um, he confirmed that yes, they carted him off. And my main concern was that dog. I asked, where's the dog? Well, she is still chained up on that big, heavy chain out there. And so I talked to the guy, and he says, well, if you can take her, that would be great. Um, you know, I can't take this dog in right now. I mean, I can't. I can't do it. So I've been stewing over this all day. So what I did is um, he gave me permission. Yes, I asked permission to go over there and, um, God, I look terrible, to go over there and make sure that the dog has water and then that the dog has food. He said that he had given him some food but put a little bit of water in something. It wasn't a very good bowl. It didn't hold a lot of water. So I said, I got plenty of water. Um, I'll take one of my little tubs over there. And um, so I lo loaded up a five-gallon bucket with water and I, I got another big kind of like three-gallon tub um, and put that, fill that up with water and carried it over in my, um, my wagon. And I went over there and I'm like, you know, the dog, the dog is chained in a manner now that she can get up underneath of the trailer, but it is like so muddy there. My boots sink in practically to my ankle. It is just so muddy. And she's just trudging through the mud with that big, heavy chain. And, um, you know, I don't know, maybe I was thinking of putting her on. Sorry about that. My son called. Um, so anyhow, back to the dog. Uh, I went over there, took some water, and um, she's got a little bit of food. And her, I noticed her sleeping conditions were just completely unacceptable. So I looked around, you know, I was looking around at stuff to make something like a doghouse or something for her. So... There was a large, um, you know, one of those metal garbage cans that had dog food in it, but it didn't have any more dog food in it. So I thought, hmm, you know, I pulled it over and it's big enough for her to get inside. Um, so I figured I, I can do something with this. I went back home and loaded up the wagon again. Um, the, the dog bed <laughs> that the lovely Miss Donna B gave me for Betty, but then Judy ended up using. I took that over. Um, I also took over um, some egg crate um, little pads that were on this chair that was on my porch. Um, I took over some blankets. I, I took over some cardboard and um, a tarp. And so I used all of that to construct her a little doghouse out of that metal garbage can. Um, and I figured if her body touches the metal and it gets really cold, that's going to be too cold. So. Um, I lined the sides and the bottom, in, or, or the back, the side, because I, I turned the metal garbage can over. I lined the sides, the back, with cardboard, so that if she came in contact, it, it would be against the cardboard and wouldn't be quite as cold. Um, I put the egg crate cushions on the bottom, and then I put like a little, um, oh, a little pillow sham, a, a large one that was quilted. Put that on top of that. Uh, I put a tarp over the top and over the back and so that it could hang over a little bit in the front in case it started raining. And then I, I shoved the garbage can 
as much as I could up underneath of the um, the the trailer um, because the the dog bed I couldn't get it underneath the trailer in an area that her chain would allow her to go and have her be able to get underneath the trailer on top of the bed so I couldn't do that so I put that off to the side so at least if she's outside she has somewhere to sit other than in the mud um, and then I put the tarp over the trash can I secured I put a um, cinder block on each side and kind of like put the tarp underneath there and um, so also the cinder blocks act so that the the garbage can can't roll if she gets in it so she seemed a little interested in it I put a little like a handful of dog food in there so she's got the option she can go into that and she's gonna be nice and comfortable um, and she can still get up underneath I she has the option to go um, up underneath the camper as well if she wants to um, but I gotta tell you my heart is kind of tugging at me right now because I'm thinking about that dog gonna be out there all by herself and she's so sweet and she just greeted me and sweet dog she's on that big old chain and I thought you know maybe I could take the lead you know what I mean um, from that I have here but if she chews through that I, I don't know I don't know I just don't like the idea of that big heavy chain on her this is just so heartbreaking guys I I don't know what else I can do honestly you know Papa's gonna be going to the vet tomorrow and yeah there'll there'll be a video coming out tomorrow I don't know when it's gonna be able to upload I'll, I'll try and get this one uploaded tonight but um oh god this is heartbreaking I can't take this dog in this dog is sick I I just she's skin and bones she was even she's even worse than papa was papa wasn't in that bad of shape this dog is so frail and so oh gosh i'm just so angry you guys so oh say some prayers that this dog does okay overnight and that god gives me guidance on what to do with this dog all right i'll see you later for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.